is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Sean O'Malley ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC. Sugar, Sean O'Malley! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Third right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules that not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all, and if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Arlovsky. All right, good start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley. He realizes... He's hurt. He's wobbling. Oh, man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. That's exactly what we expected from these two. Man, his counter's on point tonight. The jab is good. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Three minutes to go. A fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh. Big land with the right for O'Malley. Oh. Find 
find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Kick there to the body. 26 total strikes that have landed now for Andre Orlovsky. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh! He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job. That's his over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, nice kick. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn, two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's gonna be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot, be confident in knowing that eventually the finish is gonna come. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, that's big. Oh, my goodness. Got hurt again. Denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw it. He's hurt back. Under three minutes here to go in the round. theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work... Oh! That'll do it! Oh my goodness! Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre the Pit Bull.
so how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's gonna be